Can I get for you? Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, is happy hour started already? Yes. Uh, can I please get 30 orders of your small fry? Is yeah. there anything else? No, just the 30 fries. Your total is going to be $31.80. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, Molly Skyler fans. It's Molly Skyler versus potatoes, I guess. Welcome back to Skyler Nation. The most perfect food in the whole world is a potato, in my opinion. You can make fries, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, lots of stuff, and I do love fries. So, I'm at Arby's, it is happy hour, and I'm going to get 30 orders of their small fry. Although they're not that, they're honestly they're not that big. But, they're curly fries, and I'm going to get 30 orders. It should be about, uh, I want to say, seven and a half, closer to eight pounds, um, with the size of it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm hoping to get a couple of those little really cool chunks, little squirrelies in there. And uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's like getting like a Christmas present. You know, you find them in a little box and you're like, holy cow. Anyway, 31 bucks for the fries at Arby's happy hour price. Skyler Nation, mom and woman versus food. I'm gonna clean my plate because wasting food is rude. Let's get these fries. And get on to snacking because dog got a cold fries stick. Going down Molly's Guy Friends, I'm back and this is what 30 orders of fries from Arby's looks like. And yes, there are plenty of those amazing little nuggets in these little boxes. I didn't actually expect the mass to be this big, so I did grab a bowl. And I'm going to dump them all into a bowl because I just feel like that would be easier. So, uh, this, they're already starting to get cold. I'm not complaining, just saying. So I've got this big massive bowl right here in the kitchen. And uh, I'm just gonna be dumping all these in here. I did get all 30 of them. I did count these this time because gosh forbid. That's gonna be like a coin phrase of mine, gosh forbid. This is gonna take forever. I'm hoping not. I did grab, however, a little bit of ketchup. I have RB sauce if I really want to use it. Ah. This is a lot of fries. I think a lot of it is just the fact that it's they're all curled up and stuff like that. But it's decent weight. This is definitely a lot of potato. I feel like I've got this Jenga thing going on. Winning. <laughs> yes, this is a lot of fries. I am actually very impressed. So, there we go. Tower. And here is my massive bowl of Arby's fries. Just a decent size bowl too. So check this out. Look at that. And like I said, approximately seven and a half plus hot pounds. I do have in the one bag, I do have a ton of sauce if I do care to use it. And I do have ketchup because boss lets me have ketchup. <laughs> I do not know how long this is going to take. In all honesty, it's going to be, these are getting cold right now, so they're kind of starting to get stale and icky. Yes, by the way, I have ordered a new timer because this one I cannot barely see it anymore, and there you go. Um, like I said, let's do this. I've got 30 orders of fries, Molly Schuyler versus 30 orders of Arby's curly fries. Ugh. Can't wait actually. No. Let's just do this. Three, two, one. All right. The only sad thing is, it's like I'm not gonna eat them full speed because they're like they're already. I fail. Oh god. Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh wow. I got lots of this. That's pretty awesome. Mm. They are cold. But they're so good. <laughs> This is not a small bowl of fries. They don't even seem to ever taste bad, even if they're cold. So. and request the L spiral. These are not easy to get done without any liquid at all. This is definitely going to be one of the tougher challenges I've done. Absolutely. Oh, God. I just like these delicious, but they get so dry. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm officially got the egg up.
I can easily see this taking me 20 minutes. Like, you know when you eat fries and they get mealy because they're dried out and cold? Like, so they taste delicious, but it's just the fact that they have so, they're just dried out and cold. So they're kind of not the same texture that they used to be. I'm starting to bog down already. I admit it. I mean, it's getting there, but it's not, it's not where I want it to be right now. I admit it. This is an awful idea, you know, Awful. You're not, you're not on camera. I can't watch. Yeah, it's alright. Combat boy. Can't watch you eat food, sorry. Can't. <laughs> oh. and not gross. I'm not like getting food everywhere. You're gone. 23 minutes and 23 seconds. That was absolutely 
miserable. Delicious, but miserable. So, oh my gosh. I would have never thought it would have taken that long. The setbacks for this one. Oh my gosh, I had the hiccups a lot. Fries are not amazing after they've been sitting. I don't care if it's McDonald's or Arby's or whatever. So the fries got a little old. The fries were cold and sharp. So unfortunately they're compromised because they sat so long. That's on me. That's not on Arby's. But I mean, honestly, they still tasted great all the way through the end. But oh man, my mouth is tore up. Oh, cut my mouth and my throat. Oh man. 30 orders of Arby's curly fries. Happy hour madness. Awesome. Come on, Ice Gather. Mom and woman versus food versus Arby's. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And we will be back at you with another amazing challenge sooner than later.